Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio, here with an apology <laughs> of sorts. Um, I didn't put out a video the last two Tuesdays. Uh, I had intended to do them, and what can I say, I developed a case of laziness. Well, not really laziness. I was knitting, and I was more into knitting than I was making a YouTube video. <laughs> it is the season. All right, so I am here today to talk about my Etsy store. If you're not interested in anything in my Etsy store, then you will want to move on. Um, I'm not going to talk about money. All I'm going to talk about is what's in the store. I don't usually do a lot of talking about stuff in my Etsy store, but, you know, I thought I might give it a little try today. So I'll, these are the things that I want to talk about in my Etsy store, and that is my um, little tiny Coptic stitch books that I made last year, year before last, that are not selling. But they're so cute. Um, this is my art. The books are covered. And, <laughs> and then, to remind myself, I put these post-it notes in here for the measurements. All right, so they're all covered on the outside and the inside, all finished. They have, um, uh, what are those things called? Eyelets. <laughs> Oh my God. And each, uh, this book is with uh, Canson mixed media paper. There are, how many signatures? Oh my word, there's a lot in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think there's eight signatures. Yep. Says it right here on the paper I put inside. <laughs> okay. And it says here that the measurements are two and three quarters by three inches. So this is three inches, this is two and three quarters, they're eight signatures. Yeah. Okay, there's the first book, and if you want to give a friend uh, a small token kind of gift under um, $15, this is good, and I do free shipping, so there you go. Here's another one, this is my doodle art on here in black and white, covered on the inside covered again on the outside with my artwork. Oh look, it was upside down. <laughs> there are eight signatures. Um, it is three and a fourth by two and three fourths. And it also has the eyelets on, on here to help protect the holes from use. You know, So this is Canson Mixed Media Paper. There's that one. Then there's this one. I drew these buttons, but these were buttons um, that are similar to the ones I saw on a Pinterest page. I really liked it. So I drew them, and I think this blank might be in the Etsy store as a digi. If it's not, let me know. I will put it up there. There are black um, eyelets with black thread. And let me see if I have the cheat sheet. There it is. <laughs> three and a fourth by two and three fourths. And there are... Um, eight signatures. Each signature has two pieces of paper that are folded in half. Okay, so there's this one, the little button book. Then I have this. This is my art also. This one's a little thicker. Um, it has silver eyelets. Do I have the right side? Yes, I do. And there is, um, they are covered on the inside and the outside. I think this is printed on vellum. And then I colored the vellum. Then there are 14 signatures. This is three and a fourth by two and three fourths. And each one of the signatures has two pieces of paper. Again, this is Canson mixed media paper. And this is the little blue daisy book. The next one is also my art, my doodle art. There are, our, there are white eyelets on here, the front and the back. And it is covered on the outside and the inside with my art, my doodles. And I have no cheat sheet. I'm assuming this is about three and a quarter by two and three fourths. I um, think there's probably eight signatures to 
four, six, eight, eight signatures, and I think each one of these has two papers. And again, it's Canson Mixed Media Paper. These make great little gifts for friends. If you don't have a lot to spend on somebody and you want to give them something that's artsy, that, you know, that's personal, that you won't find that looks like somebody else's stuff, these are the ones to go with. All right, this one is made of paper that I was gifted, and I love this paper so much that I went back and bought more of it. There are, is that cheat sheet in here? No! Okay, so this is covered on both sides with different kinds of paper because I only had enough to cover this. And then um, I have a large book that's like this. Let's see how many signatures are there. One, two, two, four. There are six signatures in here. Canson mixed media paper, each one of the signatures. And this one has one. It also has two pieces of paper in here. All right, so this has a button on the front. Let me see if I can find. I don't know where it is. I had an elastic band somewhere. Uh, nope, I don't have it right now, but you can take an elastic band and if it, this gets alligator mouth, put it around here, loop it around, and then put it around the button again so that it stays closed. I was trying that on. This is, oh look, see, <laughs> I need to glue this. So that was a bad thing. All right, um, this is made out of, I think this is a napkin. And then the inside's colored with, uh, covered with green. And then I took some of the, yeah, it is. I took some of the napkin and put the leaf on the back. This is um, Strathmore Tantone paper. Do I have a cheat sheet in here? No. Okay, so there are, how many signatures? Man, there's a lot in here. One, two, four, six, eight. What? It, there's either 10 or 12 um, signatures in here. And they each have two sheets of paper that are folded in half. And it is loosey-goosey for those of you who, you know, like to glue things in books. Um, so you have room for expansion, you know, because they tend to develop alligator mouth. All right, so now we're going to bump up in the size a little bit. This is uh, a napkin. There are no eyelets on it, front or back. And I did not black out or do, this is a very simple book. I took flowers from another napkin and put them in the inside covers because I thought they were pretty. This on the outside is a lovely napkin. I love this napkin. And I did not cover up the edges because it was a napkin. I just left it al natural. All right, so there are two, four, six, eight, nine signatures in this one. And each one again has two um, papers folded in half. And this again is Canson mixed media paper. So there's this one, which is a little bigger, you know, than these guys here. Then this is also a napkin, which I really like. And then I just covered the inside. This is, you know, whose paper this is. And another napkin. Actually, what I did was I covered the book in the Tim Holtz paper, and then I did an applique of a napkin on top of it with the irises. Again, no eyelets on these. And there are, are these two pages? I usually put two to three pieces of paper in here per signature. How many signatures do we have? Two, four... Six, eight, ten. There's, a, I think there's ten or eleven in this one. If you look on the in the Etsy store, you will see the exact amount of signatures and the measurements because obviously I don't have my cheat sheet in here. And the last one is my doodle art. There are no eyelets on it. Again, it's Coptic, and the inside is left blank. So you can cover what you want on the inside. This is Strathmore paper. And there are, I don't know, two, three, four, five, six signatures. And again, two pieces folded in half. 
So if you're interested in any of these books, you need to go to my Etsy store, Messy Table Studio, and check them out there. And again, let me reiterate that I do free shipping, as many people do on Etsy now. So, if you're interested in any of the books for a Christmas gift, please let me know. I get them in the mail within 24 to 48 hours. I'm, I'm pretty quick because I live in a small town, and really there's nothing else to do here. <laughs> okay, everybody, thanks for stopping by and checking out my Etsy store stuff. I appreciate it. Check out the store. Bye.